Katie here. Got a stability ball workout for you today. So if you've got a stability ball, got a mat, got some dumbbells, you'll be good to go. If you don't have a stability ball, that's okay. You can do most of this workout on the floor without the ball. Um, let's get warmed up real quick and then we'll jump into it, okay? With your ball in hand, or if, like I said, you have no ball, that's okay. Just go without. Just take a nice deep breath. As you lift that ball, sitting back and down, get a little squat going. We got some dumbbell work, some core work. Sit back on your heels, lift. Good, one more time. Now hold that ball right out in front and we're gonna do a twist. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Now you can add a lunge. You might need to take your legs a little wider. Lunge and lunge, side to side. Still keeping that twist. One more time each side. Good, hold in there, take that ball up nice and high, take it toward your toe, back to the top, exhale. Just a few here. Just trying to get the blood flowing a little. And then hold that ball at the top, take it to the other side and over here, same thing, ball goes towards the toe. more. Last one. Good. Bring that ball down to the floor now. Facing the ball. We're, this is continuing our warm up. We're going to do a little plank as part of our warm up. So facing your ball, you're going to put your elbows on the ball. Your knees are on the mat. Your belly's nice and tucked. Okay, so you got that straight line your back. All I want you to do is lift your knees and lower. Lift and lower. Exhale and down. A few more. Three, two, last one. Good. Then we're going to flip it over on our ball with our shoulders and head resting on the ball. Hips are down. Got your glutes squeezed here. And this is just gonna be a drop of the hips. Notice my head and shoulders lifts. I got the straight line, head to hips, and then lift back. So your upper body's doing this seesaw motion. Down and up. A few more. Four. Now, if you don't have a ball, you can do this just lying on the floor doing your glute bridge. Last one. Good. Now, we're actually going to stay in this same position. So, if you can, grab your weights. You're going to, um, I'm going to adjust my ball here. So, I'll make sure I'm in the camera frame. Um, we're going to roll out. So, your head and shoulders is on the ball. You can relax that neck, okay? Weights are out here to the side. We're gonna do a dumbbell press right here. Exhaling up. Oh, that sun's in my eye. I keep giving you the sweet eye. Good, so get that going. We're gonna do about 15. You can just go at your own pace. That's nine for me. 10, five more. Keep the shoulders down, the neck relaxed. Pull that belly button in as you push the weights to the stop, to the sky or the ceiling. Exhale. So really focus on those deep core muscles doing the lift and lower. We're doing 10 here, or approximately 10, because I've already lost count. We're doing five more. Five, four, three, Two, one 
more. Good. Going back to that bench press, that dumbbell press. Head and shoulders relaxed as press the ceiling with the dumbbells. Two, three, four. Get that glute squeeze. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale on the lift. Five more. Three. Last one. Good. And gently, gently roll it back. Lift the head and shoulders. Keep the weights here if you want to. And press them to the ceiling. Exhale. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Last one. Exhale. And roll back out. One more round of this. Press to the ceiling. Dumbbell press. Two. Nice and strong in the chest. Squeezing the glutes. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, last one, and then one more set of those crunches with or without the weights. Here we go. Exhale up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, last one, and ten, good. So rest the weights down for a second, sit up on your ball, Throw, up, roll those shoulders back, let the neck relax. We're gonna flip it over now, and we're gonna do a little row, and then an ab roll in and out, okay? So we'll have our weights for part of this, but not the other half. We're gonna go on that 15 and 10 count again. So this time, your chest is on the ball, you're rolling out, so you're in a plank position, okay? So even though your belly's resting on the ball, the core is still engaged. Weights are right here, kind of at an angle in front of the ball. You may need to roll out. Play with your position so that you can bring that elbow back, okay? And it's okay if you have to go a little bit wide to get around the ball, that's okay, all right? We're gonna do this 15 times on each side, alternating side to side, okay? So it's pull, Pull, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five more each side. substitute for a renegade row and you can also do that row standing and bent over okay um, now we're doing the ab roll out okay so move your weights to the side elbows on the ball you're on your knees all you're doing see I'm in this plank position elbow I mean shoulder down to knee it's straight line feel those my core is engaged then I'm just gonna pull it in and roll it out for ten Nine, eight, shouldn't be a pinch in your back. You should only go out there as far as you feel that belly tuck. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Good, gonna do those one more time. Right here, back to the row. Weights out front, find your place, here we go, pull and pull, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. dumbbells with you roll it out now this time we want to kind of get a reclined position on our ball so our lower backs against the ball the belly's tucked head and shoulders is lifted but relax relax the shoulders shouldn't be any pressure in the neck okay elbows go right into the ball doing a bicep curl here so we're taking the weights down exhaling up keeping the core nice and tight two we got 15 of these That's eight. Five more. Five, open the elbow. Four. You can alternate if you need to. Last one. Good, now this is another one where you can go with or without the weights. We're gonna lift those weights up high, keeping that lower back around the ball. We're gonna twist to one side, bring it back to the center. Exhale. So you'll feel the core engage and pull. Good. Trying to keep the ball steady underneath you. Yeah, just stop right there where that weight is, per is perpendicular to the ground. Ten on each side. That was just ten total. One more each side. Exhale. Exhale. All right. One more set of the bicep curls. Let the shoulders relax. Elbows are right there in the ball. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
10, 5, keep steady in the core, 4, 3, 2, last one, all the way down, exhale up, back to that twist, head and shoulders lifted, belly tucked, inhale, exhale, 2, I'll count them right this time, 3, Four, five, five more each side, six, seven, eight, nine, one more time each side, exhale, and exhale, good. All right, we got one more set of exercises. It's just a wood chop, okay? So you can put your ball to the side. If you want to do this with a lighter weight, you can use your ball actually, actually as the weight. I'm going to go with one dumbbell. You can do it with one. You can do it with two. Legs are wide. Feet at that angle out. The weight's going to go up at an angle. This is like what we did in the warm-up. We're just using our weight now. So we're going to add a little bit more of a squat. Sitting back and down. That weight comes to the outside of the knee. Exhale up. Just on this one side, we're gonna do 20. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Exhale at the bottom. 10, 10, nine, eight, seven. Belly tucked. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Exhale. Good. Bring that weight down. Let the arms and shoulders relax. And we're going to do 20 on the other side. You ready for it? Weight up. Belly tucked. Let's go. Down. Exhale. Two, three, four. Staying tall at the top. Eight, squeeze the glutes. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Good. Bring it in. Breathe. I'm gonna do that one more time on each side, and then we'll be finished. Okay. Legs out wide, belly tight. Bring that weight up and let's go. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven. Sit back and down. Five. Three. Exhale. Last one. Good. Shoulders back. We gotta do it one more time. Other side, then we're gonna cool it down. Here we go. Wait up. Let's do it. That's five. That's 10. Last five here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Weight comes in. Weight goes down. Roll those shoulders back. Get your ball back right here going to bring it down the same way we brought it up okay so sit on your ball roll it out feels good on the ball sometimes just to get yourself a nice back massage and then roll it on out so your head and shoulders relaxes let those hips go down so head and shoulders lift and then back up just 10 here or so just a 
cooling down. Just breathe. Two more. Last one. Get that good squeeze at the top and hold. Breathe. And roll it down. Good. We're going to turn and face our ball. Do that little plank with the knees dropping down and up. Elbows on the ball. Go ahead and get in your plank position. And then drop, drop the knees down and up. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the chest lifted if you can. Last one. Good. Then bringing it down to your knees. Putting your belly on the ball. Let yourself hang over there for just a second. Inhale nice and deep. Exhale. Lift the knees off the mat so you're in this nice high plank. And this is really just to stretch, okay? You can keep your hands on the floor. You can put your hands on the ball. You can put them behind your head. Just lift the chest. Feel that opening of the chest, stretching through the lower back, and relax. Relax it all the way down. Then do it again. Nice and gentle. One more time. down. Good. Take that ball away. Roll it away. Hands on the mat. Sit it back in child's pose and just let the back relax, the arms relax. Inhale and exhale. Of course, turn your toes under. Push it up to downward dog. Nice stretch through the back of the legs. And then slowly walk your hands towards your feet so you're in that forward fold just for a second. Knees are soft. And then roll it all the way up. Big stretch. Tail to the front, round in the shoulders. Inhale, open across the chest. And then one deep breath. Take it up and down. And we're done. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.